Hello, this is Geotech Lan, and today I'll be playing The Witcher 3 using the latest Mesa driver 17.3.8, and I'll also be playing on the latest Wine version, Wine 3.5, and I guess why not the kernel version 4.15.14. So let's get started here. And so the last time I made a video, I was using and running Wine 3.1. That was very glitchy and I, I was thinking, well, it may be a while before, if ever, you'd be able to play The Witcher 3 without any weird glitches. But lo and behold, with the Wine 3.3, it actually started working very smooth, no glitches. And uh, at the time I was like, all right, uh, it's too soon to make a video because I had just made a video. And now that we're on Wine 3.5, I thought now is indeed the perfect time to set something up here. And so far, let's take a look at the graphic settings. Okay, so it's at 1024 you guys may be seeing it weird because i'm recording let's put this to i actually had it at 30 frames and 4k but yep there's just no hope to recording in 4k in linux unfortunately so now i've got this bad boy in 1080p 60 frames per second so, so far, if you guys remember from my last video, you guys remember, maybe we're seeing glitches and so far, no glitches here. Let me load this version here. Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito when that war ravaged. And so, yeah, I was, as I was saying earlier, I was trying to record in 4K, but yeah, I was just glitching out and, uh, I mean, it looks beautiful, but... I don't want to misrepresent how good this performs. Even in 4K, it performs pretty close to how it performs in uh, Windows. Maybe it's at, at about 80% visual and performance-wise. And so, but it's uh, it's really playable now on Linux. A couple things to keep in mind, guys, is that when I'm recording and you guys view the recording, the game looks way 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 slower than it actually is and there's a weird glitch with the sound so keep in mind that is the recording only i'll leave a video at the end just so you guys can see how it looks when i'm not recording so you guys can know that it actually runs smooth and uh, feel free to test it out yourselves as well sometimes the game during the first couple of seconds it will start pretty slow and sluggish as you guys can see but once I kind of start playing and get out into the open field it'll get a lot better so this is where it really starts to to get pretty good the only weird thing that I noticed is that I don't know if it's just a keyboard or mouse issue or a wine issue or a Linux or a Solus issue is that if I press forward, you know, the, the W key here to run, sometimes he just runs forever if I hold it long enough. So I got to be careful with how long I hold this. All right, so let's go battle some baddies here. These guys. You may be hearing my mouse click, but that's just them. That's just me trying to kick some butt here. Yeah, these are some weird spider plant looking things. Yeah, I must say they look pretty scary. And so I laid them out piece of cake let me steal some of their loot here take all so let me show you guys the menus as well 
the menus are also all glitch free here so meditation character quests world map the only thing i like about the world map here is that it feels like it's maps a real world map inventory alchemy crafting books characters tutorial bestiary so that all works perfectly fine if i press escape this all loads pretty nicely as well and so let's take a moment to just enjoy nature here look at these plants monsters and so i must say this is running pretty smooth i wish i could tell how many how much or how if i could see the or monitor the fps here but that may be another challenge for another day i think the only real major glitch is that if, when i save it if i hit save game it'll save but it'll kind of crash a little bit again it's kind of a thing where i'm not sure if it's wine crashing or soulless or just linux in general that seems to be the only real glitch I've noticed. Uh, the good thing is it actually ends up saving and it happens like at the end. When you're done playing, right, you'll, you would probably save it and it would just crash in. Um, I guess that's like, it wouldn't get in your way too much, but other than that, guys, you guys are now witnessing the power of wine and open source and the Mesa drivers. And so if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.